Hey guys, so this is the start of one of our newest series. We're super excited. Um, and our host is actually gonna be Mark here, uh, but I wanted to do a little introduction video uh, for our community members. So they can get to know Mark prior to the video series starting uh, and, and really build some excitement about the quality corner that is coming uh, with Mark. Mark, thanks for joining, man. Uh, really excited for this interview because uh, you know, we just started working together, what, like two months ago? So really, really kind of pumped to, to get to know you a little bit better myself. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm super excited that you invited me to uh, kind of do an introduction of myself. I'm super stoked about the new quality corner that we're going to be putting together and really releasing for our partners. Um, uh, very excited, like I said. Uh, you know, I think our partners are the key to our success. So it's it's ultimately very important. And I'm passionate about sharing my experiences when it comes down to quality and how we can really get to that excellence level um, as a team, as a partner camaraderie kind of takes place. And Quality Corner is one of those methods that I really want to be able to discuss things with my partners. Uh, what can we do to help them? what they can do to help us and really build a good, true partner network uh, with all of our partners. Because everything I've seen so far has been super astounding. So I'm looking forward to this. That's awesome. So yeah, you, you touched on your experiences a little bit. Uh, what have those been? Where are you coming from? And uh, you know, what have you done in the past that has kind of been centered around bringing excellence and quality? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Adam. Um, I've been in manufacturing or servicing for nearly 30 years. I've worked for small uh, organizations from job shops, truly contract manufacturers, up to companies with 250,000 employees. Um, my passion has always been being very process oriented. The one thing that I was able to identify in all of my history is that process seems to be the key. It's not about the people. It's not about the equipment necessarily. It's really putting together and solidifying a solid process of communication and understanding when dealing with partners and sub tiers. Um, my background, I've worked in medical industry where we were building out bone drills into the femur with four micro finishes, 19 inches long, um, pretty crazy with some CNC grinding operations. I, there I, we started getting into laser cutting and then even to the point to where I was working in the semiconductor where we're building the heaters that grow the wafer chips, dealing with a lot of chemicals and degas chambers um, to make sure that everything was safe for the environment. Yeah. Uh, for, you know, and, and that was still a fairly smaller organization, about a, about a middle size, 1,000 people. And then I, from there, I went to uh, United Technologies Aerospace Systems and went into a whole new world of electronics, where before I was all in the mechanical manufacturing side. Now we're dealing with PCBAs yeah. and working for an R&O side of an organization. You know that time is of essence. Otherwise, the plane's not flying. So really working in that system environment, which, which putting together continuous improvement events, working with our partners and our sub tiers to really drive what we needed to be to be successful. Uh, from there, working for consumer electronics. I worked for a company that was making conductive electrical weapons that, uh, you know, they, they came out with the tasers and the don't tase me bro kind of concept. So it's pretty cool, you know, seeing law enforcement and DOD utilizing consumer electronics to shock somebody with 50,000 volts, but yet still very safe for the person. Um, and then really going back into, you know, once you're in aerospace and defense, you kind of always go back to it. Uh, working for uh, L3 Harris and now with Zometry, you know, really being able to understand some of the challenges from our partners and really working collaboratively to improve everything for the bottom line. You know, I'm, I'm a specialist when it comes down to dealing with Kaizen and operational excellence and really quality assurance as a whole. So as I grow out the team here at Zometry, I want to be expanding and seeing what else we need from a partner network standpoint to make sure that they're more successful. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I love how you're touching on some of the things you're bringing, like uh, the, the Kaizen experience and, um, and, and that wealth of knowledge from that, that really expansive history in the, in the industry. So uh, as you've gotten your feet under you, what has most impressed you 
throughout the partners in our manufacturing network and kind of what makes you excited to work with them? Uh, I think there's a couple of things actually, Adam. Um, one of the things that I've been able to identify is that just how quick our partners are. Mm -hmm. I mean, the turnaround times that the partners are having just it's crazy and they're so successful with that on-time shipment and then even the quality that they're dealing with is super spectacular it makes it makes me and my my department's job easier when everything is just awesome for our customers so so that's one thing that i've really been able to identify that our partners bring that to us um and the other thing is that how does geometry how geometry and the partners really work collaboratively together i know i keep going back to that collaboratively but we really do we you know zometry looks at a partner not as a sub tier or as a vendor but no it's a true partner it's an extension of us to make sure that we're going to be successful and as zometry with our partners help are continuously disrupting the market against the big guys mm -hmm. the big people in the corner office that and the mahogany office concepts like the 250,000 the 500,000 employees we have 400 people but we have this, the Zometry network that we just, we're able to go against these huge corporations yeah. and win out. We give them a turnaround time of seven days, nine days, 12 days. When you're dealing with the big dogs, they're ultimately turning something in six weeks, mm -hmm. six months at times. Just, just, so those are two very passionate things on that I've been able to see really quickly. And then the job board. The job board continuously drives and gets in better and better every week as we identify opportunities to improve some of the things, not just for zometry, but for our partners to understand really what they're accepting. So yeah. looking at it from that aspect, we can give a quote to our customers in 24 hours, in 24 seconds. Yeah. Compared to, you know, these big companies that they... I mean, I've worked for some of these big companies and we had six to eight week lead time just to provide a quote, That's not incredible. including touching the product. So it's awesome. I mean, that that you're out of the ball game at that point, uh, starting nowadays, right? And so for uh, to be at 24 seconds, like you say, and 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 that our partners allow and and help empower that is super powerful. That's, Absolutely. That's awesome that you've kind of identified that already. So uh, talk to me a little bit about, so we're, we're going to start a new series with you. You're going to be coming in every week and, and talking in the quality corner. What are some of the things that, that you'll be talking about and, and what will you be covering in the quality corner? Yeah. So some of the things that I, I that I really want to talk about with the, regards to the quality corner is to an improved communication. Um, it's, it's, you know, when we make a change to something, we want to be able to make sure that it's being communicated mm -hmm. appropriately. Um, you know, there's always that verbiage that you can see, um, maybe something in communities that you can see, but but there may be a lot of questions around the interpretation of that. So the quality corner is going to help really provide why we're doing it, how to do it, mm -hmm. and what we can look for in the future, you know, to, for additional changes or maybe just improvements. And I really want to promote that for our partners to give us feedback. Mm -hmm. Where can zometry improve? What can we do to make sure that their successfulness is sustainable? Mm -hmm. um, and it's not, you know, a whim for six months or for a year, but really let's work together. And I think communicating it through the quality corner and that's starting some of the excitement coming back into back into zometry. We can then plan out what the next quality corner is going to be looking like. Yeah. You know, is it a partner guide change? Is it a community change? Can we relieve any any pressure? You know, recently we we eliminated the quality inspection checklist. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the partners didn't understand why we did it. Well, you know, Zometry was a little bit uh, nervous at, 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 at the beginning when they started with BQCs and things like that. So I get it. But now that we're building out an entire quality assurance platform that includes our partners mm -hmm. and their quality assurance part, you know, networks and, and their foundation, I think that we can start relieving some of these these undue uh, requirements yeah. uh, and really drive it home. But the quality corner is going to be a huge communication tool um, and, and it works both ways. I don't want it to just be, you know, I'm the senior quality director and I'm talking about these things. I really want information back. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I'm information hungry. I want to do something with that information. I'm biased for action by all means. So let's work together. And that quality corner is going to be that first tension to detail and saying, hey, give me, give me, give me. I'm going to be selfish. I want all your information, you know, just so we can we can get there. Let's get to that next level. Let's get let's get to where even though we're working virtually together, let's feel like we're sitting next to each other as yeah. we work together on a problem. No, I love that. And and you know, if you think about it, our partners are the best people to talk to if you yeah. want improvements because they they're living this, they're they're you know working on it every day. Um, so I, I cannot wait to see what type of feedback channel or feedback loop we get going as you start bringing that amazing content and they start telling you what they want to hear about, right? And, and you're able to start talking about, okay, well, this is what this means. And, and then now we're going to remove the checklist, right? Because you guys asked. Yeah. And so we don't need that anymore. And, and then where to go to see those changes. Man, I, I, I'm really excited to see it. Anything else that you kind of want to highlight on, on what you'll be covering there? I think, I think you know, I, I definitely want this to be a strong relationship between quality zometry mm -hmm. and all of our partners um, from their managers to their quality. I want us to breathe the same culture. Yeah. Um, and the only way to do that is for us to tear down those barriers and those walls and let's work together on, on solving these problems. Let's continue to disrupt these huge corporations and yeah. let us grow into, you know, dealing with, military dealing with the dod dealing with aerospace dealing with medical let's just let's just blow it out of the sky and just be awesome with it so people start looking over their shoulder going oh here comes zometry and their partner network oh my gosh we better start paying attention yeah that's awesome man so i'm super well, excited about that yeah man and i can't wait to to tune in for episode one so thanks for for joining this the introduction and uh like i said i'm i'm pumped about episode one and, and i know that everyone watching us as well. So uh, we'll talk soon. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to what we can build together with our partners. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, Mark, we'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, likewise. All right.